Hello and welcome back, Virgo. And if you're new, welcome in. Thank you for tuning in. This is going to be a collective intuitive reading for tonight, February 16th, the full moon eclipse in Scorpio. And it's going to take us until the remainder of May 31st. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the romance oracles and get some advice, Virgo. Collective sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, south node, wherever you have it. This is going to be an intuitive reading. May not resonate with all of you out there. Keep in mind, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. There's a very strong magnetic attraction that you have with someone here. <clears throat> Feels like there's a lot of chemistry in this connection. Okay, this looks like Merlin, right? The magician, which is you. And Gwendolyn, <laughs> that's my name, go figure. So Merlin's wife was either Gwendolyn or I, that's what I picked up on. Anyhow, you and this person here have a sense of a very potent, passionate connection. Intriguing, something that intrigues you, something you're interested in. Something like I feel you dipped your finger in like to the, to touch the flame here and you're about like I feel. You dipped your finger in and it's like that, that song I was hearing. Passionate, intimate connection, but there's unrequited love here. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I feel that you will see your spirit guides are nudging you. It's time to move on. It's time to evolve. It's time to move forward, right? And if you see the angels here are pleading, right, for forgiveness, for um, an attention. I feel somebody here has got a lack of attention giving in a connection. Somebody here, I feel, is on their way out, right? There could be a sense of somebody just doesn't have enough self-love or any emotions to keep a connection going any longer. So it feels like, <clears throat> let's get one more card. Yeah, for some of us. You could have been married to this person. For some of you, you're walking away from a commitment that no longer serves your highest purpose. Yeah, you're walking away. You're freeing yourself right now. So it feels like freedom, liberation. It's time to take back control of your life, Virgo. So it just doesn't cut it for you anymore. Whatever was here before, like I feel, there is a level of chemistry, passion, right, that's here. And what I feel in this reading that's coming through is you're about to break free, okay? So there's a sense of breaking free from a lot of feelings, like things that we've outgrown. So there's a sense of outgrowing. This is how I shuffled and this is where the deck was, right? The sage. That's you, Virgo. I feel right now you're in your element fully during the solar eclipse and in Scorpio, you're quiet, right? You're quiet as a mouse right now. You're going within right now is what I feel with the hermit. There's a sense of deeply soul searching, wanting to be alone at this time. So I'm going to go ahead and read what it says from the Enchanted Tarot for your advice. <clears throat> when you look at this, you're in this place of the hangman and I see the three of wands. I feel if there's a third party dynamic, something that you felt stuck in, right? You're about to break through. You're keeping quiet about something. I feel you're in limbo right now over a situation. It says you need to develop the true power of a master. Be content with being alone. <clears throat> pardon me. I Pardon me. Or only with those on your level. Do not waste time or energy on those that are not ready or are not worthy. Introspection is required for self-mastery. This is Pisces and Neptune energy. It's a sense of wanting, to, like a sense of wherever you feel stuck or in limbo in a situation. Separating from these people, right? It could be a crowd. It could be your friend zone, community. It could be a third party situation. You're introspecting right now, so you want time alone, okay? It feels like you're going within, like the answers are within. So there's an inner understanding that you're gaining while you're in that Neptune energy, okay? You're getting ready to let go and free yourself. And that's what you're finding out that there's a eureka moment, a change of perspective. <clears throat> 
hard on me for my throat. I, it was hard. I didn't want to delay the readings. A lot. There's like a hard area of not talking. You're not talking. Five of Wands. This is your overall energy. Aries, Leo, Sag could be in your chart. Or you could be dealing with somebody. You're not talking, but be mindful. Protect your energy around you here. There's gossiping going on. Do you see these two people? Someone here is very envious, very jealous. Somebody here is telling you some lies. Five of Wands, is. there's definitely a sense of internal conflict from something that was said to you, a rumor, a lie. <clears throat> two of Swords is here, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, a crossroads. Prince of Wands, okay. Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. So, I feel there was a choice here that needed to be made in the challenge or the obstacle here. Something that you were getting ready to let go of. I feel your person was fire energy. Somebody here that you have a connection with where you and this person have gone back and forth several times. The Prince of Wands is somebody who is very flirty, right? Uh, passion, lust here, a, a sense of adventure, a sense of uh, fun, right? But at one time, like I feel that's what was here. I feel your person is somebody who has chemistry, passion, intimacy here with you. But it brings conflict to you. It feels like there's somebody here who could be telling somebody a secret or a rumor or gossip. Like I feel, five of wands, other people around you here. Two of swords is a sense of, this two of swords here is at a crossroads, right? There's a tower here to her left and to her right here. So it lets me know there's a sense of uh, polarities, right? Stalemate, blocked emotions, choices, indecisiveness, uh, limited beliefs here. So it's something here that I feel in the moon is right underneath there. So it's trusting in your intuition. We're going to go ahead and read what the five of wands says for you, Virgo, and your overall energy of where you are right now. Let's see. You definitely can be feeling conflicted here and needing time alone. Five of one. <clears throat> you need to experience what competition really means and requires. Respect your opponent, but stand up for your point of view. Refuse to be a victim. Fight the tendency toward frustration, anger, hate, and prejudice. You will experience what competition really means and requires. Respect your opponent, but stand up for your point of view. Refuse to be a victim. Fight against any frustration internally or externally that you may be feeling. A sense of hate, anger, or prejudice, or that will hurt you too, right? So people around you, and it feels like you want to be alone. You're taking time out here before you think about something. So let's see with the hangman. Because that's very important, okay? That's like Pisces and Neptune energy. You're going to be dealing with somebody who is. But it also lets me know. Um, let's see. Enlightenment. Because you're going within for the answers. The answers are always within. So I want to see what the hangman is letting you know of where you are right now during the eclipse. You need to get in touch with why you feel restricted or stuck. The suspension of progress may occur if learning reaches a plateau. If things are seen from a new perspective, change can occur. You are not being punished unjustly. So, there's a sense of seeing something and a new perspective, gaining a higher perspective while you take time out alone will help with this internal or external conflict that's taking place here. Now, the Prince of Wands is somebody who acts on quick action. They take action. There's somebody here that your person, right, is, is somebody who can feel like it's either a waste of your time, this, per this person's in and out, they're not responsible. 
it feels like this person knight of wands is looking for a good time so let's see let's shuffle the cards for the clarity of five of wands for you virgo i feel whatever it is it's unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep a relationship going Yeah, Four of Swords, you're on a break. So you're keeping quiet, you're resting, you're trying to gain your inner peace and recharge. Yeah, Three of Pentacles, you're working by yourself right now on something here. Whatever you're doing right now, you're taking that initial step to bring in fulfillment. So Three of Pentacles is in the Nine of Wands. You're working on yourself. And I feel whatever this is that you're going through with the Nine of Wands and the Two of Pentacles, Something that you've been going back and forth on for quite some time here, okay? Whether or not to work out this or whether or not to work out that. It's like going left and right. You're starting to, to manage and prioritize yourself over whatever this is. Knowing that that's what you need to do. If you need to take a step away from other people, that's what you need to do right now. To prioritize yourself and be patient and alert. The Nine of Wands in this deck here, if you can see the Four of Swords, is a need to rest, a need to recover. It feels like whatever this situation was that you felt sabotaged in, I feel this is definitely a sense of a lack, a, a sense of a lack or a failure in a connection or a feeling of uh, that something here was a loss, right? It feels like something here turned out to be a loss. And it's something right now that you could be wanting to avoid facing. And this is why you're very quiet right now. It feels like you're pushing uh, people away from you right now. It's like you don't want to talk, you don't want to talk, but people are coming to you with secrets, right? So there's a sense of something is hidden, right, that's coming in. Let's see the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is, oh, is in the position of the challenge trying to dodge a bullet right now. The tower wanted to come out in reverse, Mars and Scorpio. I feel that's what the challenge is. There's a sense of trying to dodge a bullet. Something here that you feel has the inevitable energy of an ending. Fear of change also. Yeah, there's a judgment being made here. So somebody here that was stuck, right? Two of Swords is a sense of Stuck, blocked emotions, a choice, a decision, a sense of fight or flight kind of a mode. And I feel that this tower moment was a breakdown in your home situation. I feel somebody here is getting a judgment. Somebody here is facing a judgment for sure. Yeah, there's a loss. There's, a, there's definitely disappointment here. There's a sense of feeling defeated, feeling drained emotionally mentally trauma like in it's inflicting trauma so a broken situation six of swords yep and six of pentacles there was no harmony in this connection the sixes tell me there's a sense of movement forward things couldn't move forward i feel somebody here was carrying a lot of baggage in this mood yep there it goes three of swords a third party situation was here. For some of you, like I feel, there was a situation that the challenge was, was moving forward, moving on after a breakup or an ending. Something here that you wanted to free yourself from, but it feels like it's time to take back control of your energy. The Three of Swords, you can definitely see there's, this is emotionally drained, can't even pick up your head. So it's like picking up your, your head, right? Getting ready, Three of Pentacles, to work on yourself here. So improving a situation, like I feel getting back at the table during Mercury retrograde, right? It's time to get back at the table. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's see what this Prince of Wands is. Somebody from your past, Six of Cups, Virgo. You have a connection <clears throat> with somebody here from your past that you could have grown up with. Someone that you could have gone to school with. Uh, a, a, a companion, King of Cups. Somebody that you were in love with. And I, I do feel this. King of Cups is Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. 
Uh, it could be a father figure, or you have a past connection with somebody here that you have children with. Six of Cups is, I feel this is somebody that you revisited the past with. Okay, so you revisited this part is what I feel, King of Cups and Six of Cups. But there was a sense of somebody here was not responsible. Yeah, Strength card, Leo energy. Somebody here is trying to overcome a situation, okay, your person. They're trying to heal, grow, and overcome something here is what I feel. With the strength card, it's like, let me see. Somebody was standing in their integrity, your person. Yeah, two of cups, a very strong soul connection, deep past life kind of a feeling here. And there was a betrayal here, Ten of Swords. There was a difficult phase, a chapter here. A sense of now, the worst is now behind you. The trauma is over, the pain. Strength to overcome a soul connection here, okay, is what I feel. So somebody here is definitely finding courage and strength here to overcome a difficult uh, ending here, is what I'm feeling. Ten of Swords. Your person, I feel. Let's see. Please clarify the strength card. Leo energy. Yep, Aries energy and Libra energy. Karmic justice is here. So I feel this is an emperor. This is a Mars and Aries and Libra, right? And Venus. Somebody here is deciding to get a divorce. Somebody here is taking action. Somebody's going to court here. Libra energy is somebody here wants the truth. This is somebody here who I feel is somebody here that's very empowered. Somebody here that wants karmic justice. Somebody that wants to balance the scales. I feel. I feel this is a very strong decision. There's a loss. There's a disappointment from this person. I feel they're feeling very disappointed over a separation, a divorce. Yeah. And I feel your person is definitely somebody here. Yeah, four of wands. You were in a marriage. You had a home or a foundation. There's a loss here. There's a home, a broken up home, king of wands. This, this person here, I feel, was very risk-taking. Somebody here that was impulsive, made a lot of ruthless uh, decisions, high expectations. So somebody here was ruthless is what I feel. I feel that's what the energy is here. Yep. Mars and Aries, Venus and Libra. And I feel you're freeing yourself. If somebody's freeing yourself, Page of Swords. There's a level of immaturity. This is somebody here who I feel is watching you. They have their eyes on you, they're stalking you. The Nine of Cups is there was wish fulfillment here. Like, I feel this is somebody here that you made very happy. They were hoping to work on this partnership, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. There was definitely a lot of passion. Like, I feel chemistry here, a connection here that I feel you could have had an intimate uh, connection. But Eight of Cups was there. As fast as this connection came in is as fast as it ended. Like, I feel somebody here was looking for a good time. So this was a waste of time here, this Knight of Wands energy. Somebody came in looking for a good time. It's like in somebody here, Ace of Wands had an intimate connection here with the Ace of Wands and Eight of Cups left somebody feeling abandoned here. So let's see Four of Swords for Virgo. Four of Swords, you're trying to recharge, recover. Yeah, High Priestess. So you already know what's going on here. You have an all-knowing, right? High Priestess, Pisces and Cancer. You could be resting. You could be getting psychic guidance. You could be getting a psychic advice. You are a psychic. You know this person like a book, I feel, and you know yourself very well also. There's something here that was hidden, shady. So Four of Pentacles or Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, clarifying King of Wands. Fire energy, once again, Aries, Leo, Sag. 
you're working on your self-confidence, you're working on healing, you're working on something here that I feel you're getting ready to take action on and you're keeping quiet about it. I feel you're getting ready, you're getting fired up here, uh, in a sense, to put passion into something that you're putting work in. You're very gifted. It could be you starting a psychic business, something here that you're preparing yourself to step into, a higher calling, getting ready to stand in service. Whatever the King of Wands is an entrepreneur, ambitious, right? Could be non-committal, right? Yeah, Eight of Cups to the Nine of Wands. You're walking away from someone here that you had a connection with that you were in and out of, right? This is something here that you just can't face right now. You're turning your back on the situation, Eight of Cups, and you're walking towards what brings you in happiness. This is the world card. It's telling me it's over. The new world has come, and it's like a whole new world is here. It's time to evolve. So you're coming full circle, Virgo. There's achievements here. There's a sense of gaining achievement as you walk away and complete a, a, a chapter or a cycle. You're walking towards Nine of Cups, which brings in success. So your success is here. It's like you have the fire in your belly here to stand up and fight with the King of Wands, which is going to be taking action. And that's on yourself. So there's a sense of self-discipline, right? Something that you're getting ready to do. But it brings in a reward, an achievement on a cycle. You will be in the spotlight, this feeling in Six of Wands. Confidence is going to be your key, Virgo. So it's a sense of success is on its way to you. The King of Wands is Three of Pentacles, yes. You're moving on and moving forward. Chariot, Cancerian energy. So you could be working on relocating, moving. Uh, there's, there's something here like I feel regretful but necessary. The Five of Cups is here signifying a sense of uh, letting go, right? Letting go of losses here. There's a sense of confusion is being cleared because now you see your direction and it feels like this change does bring an ending where there is a loss, but you're keeping your chin up. Four of Wands is here. So a sense of somebody here is at a loss in a home, a partnership, Ten of Pentacles, Empress, yeah. So you're moving forward or moving on from somebody. Or you're getting ready here to make an offer with somebody new. Now we have Venus and Taurus or Libra, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Five of Cups. Somebody here that I feel you could be moving on from. Could be a mother figure, someone you were married to, someone you have a family dynamic with. There is a loss. Yeah. Queen of Cups, Empress. So you're moving on from somebody. The Eight of Cups with the Nine of Wands. Yeah, there was unrequited love here. There was abandonment issues. Yeah, there's a loss here. They're facing your insecurities. There's a situation here that I feel with the Five of Cups to that Eight of Cups and Nine of Wands. A lot of defeat. A lot of resentment. A lot of holding on. Uh, pushing away. It's a kind of an energy that bring in emotional trauma. What is the high priestess? There was a lot of emotional trauma here. And that's why it's saying the Ace of Swords. You know the truth. So the Ace of Swords is victory. You're seeing the truth here. Like I feel, secrets are surfacing. Communications coming out here. It feels like get ready to make space changes in the air. Four of Swords is whatever you're meditating and praying on, you're receiving spiritual enlightenment, spiritual guidance. You're going to have a dream. This could be with your family members, something here, like I feel, is coming out. The High Priestess with the Queen of Wands. There is somebody here that I feel you're on a break from. This could be a Queen of Wands, an Aries Leo Sag. Something that was hidden. A hidden love affair. A hidden friend with benefits. Hidden somebody here, right? Somebody here that could have been in a lover's dynamic, right? Queen of Cups, third party situation here. I feel that this was an affair. There was a sense of you were married or committed or in a partnership with someone here. Could have been Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sag, Ace of Wands. There was definitely a hidden affair, an intimate connection with somebody here. And the truth is coming out. It's being exposed is what I feel. Ace of Swords. Yeah. 
it feels like this tower moment that was coming in is coming in. Can avoid a tower moment here. An ending is what I'm feeling. Yeah, eight of wands. Because these are messages. This is time to take action. It's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to make a change in your direction. Eight of Wands is passionate new messages. Travel, actually, with the Chariot and Eight of Wands. It feels like whatever you're doing now, you have the Empress here, Venus and Taurus. This could be a mother figure, somebody who has, uh, this is the Divine Empress. Eight of Wands and the Knight of Swords, yeah. Ten of Wands. Rushing towards somebody here that you had a connection with. I feel the Ten of Wands is somebody surrendering, somebody's burden. There was a lot of burdens here. Somebody here, I feel, that's communicating. This person's moving on, moving forward. This is you. I feel Eight of Wands is a sense of suddenly unexpected. A conversation comes in. Yep, Hangman. So... There was delays. There could be delays that were coming in communication. Pisces and Neptune, Nine of Cups. There's a delay here. The delay could be is a delay in your travel plans that could be coming in because of Mercury retrograde. But it feels like you're, you're in suspension for a reason with the Hangman and the Eight of Wands. There's something here that you're getting ready to get, a light code. A download of spiritual guidance here. There's a sense of spirit wants you to hold on so that you see something here. Because there's something here that you that you cannot miss. It's the truth coming in. Ace of Swords. So there's a sense of hold tight, right? Hold tight for a minute here. Because you are moving towards something here that does bring in wish fulfillment. Back again to Queen of Wands, the lovers, the Queen of Cups. So you're definitely soul searching. You have an option in love, a choice to make here. Let's see what the comp let's see what the compromising energy is. Aquarius. Have faith and hope in your dreams here, and that will come true. Three of Wands is ask and you shall receive for guidance. Prepare having a, a higher foresight. Aquarius energy is aiming for a higher version here of yourself. It's wish fulfillment. It's an energy here of healing, an energy of reconciling here. There's a sense of three of wands and four of cups. Prayer, meditation, right? Seven of swords, death card. There's the scorpionic energy. Telling the truth, transforming here. Seven of swords is whatever was hidden that was shady, any kind of a lies or betrayal is about to be spoken of, right? King of swords opening up, which brings in conflict, right? Yeah, but like I feel, there's a sense of having hope and having faith here. And praying and meditating during this time is what I feel. Six of Wands brings in reward and victory here. Self-confidence here is what I feel. And Four of Pentacles is resisting, resisting change or holding on too tightly here. So there's a sense of having confidence at this time. With the Six of Wands. And I feel Aquarius not giving up faith or hope in a situation here. I feel you've been holding back from this sense of Nine of Cups going for what brings in emotional fulfillment. So there's a sense of self. A vision of self. Spending time, like I feel, in this sense of the Pisces hangman came out twice. And Three of Wands twice. So you're waiting on something here that's coming in. Divine timing is here. Like I feel, with ease and grace, the answers shall come to you. So that's what I feel. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the reading there, Virgo. We're going to leave it there. I thank you for joining me. Have a blessed month. We will see you soon.